So you want to know what Minecraft is all about? You want to know why so many kids and adults are so absorbed by this game and why they can spend hours at a time playing? Well, Minecraft is a block building game with no set rules where you can build anything you can possibly imagine. When you first load up a new world, you could find yourself in one of several environments or biomes as we call it in Minecraft. It could be a swamp, extreme hills, the desert, or even the rare mushroom biome. Each new world has its own unique seed. No two worlds are the same, so what will you discover in your world? A village? A desert temple? There are two main ways to play Minecraft, survival mode or creative. Survival mode is where you need to gather resources to be able to make or craft items to keep you alive. You need to mine for things like coal, iron, gold, diamonds and redstone. All these things will be extremely useful, so keep your eyes peeled. Here is what they look like. You also need to gather food by killing those friendly mobs. Sad, I know, but it needs to be done, unless you want to live off carrots by farming them. This is your hunger and health bar. They will go down the more you are mining or sprinting, and when you are being attacked by those hostile mobs. There are loads of different kinds of hostile mobs that will harm you, from the creeper to the spider jockey. These mobs will kill you any chance they get. Most of these mobs come out at night. So if you find yourself in the middle of nowhere during the night, you best hope you have some kind of weaponry with you. Although they come out at night, they can also survive daylight. The creeper is the one you need to watch out for. It may just be outside your front door come morning. Skeletons and zombies can survive daylight if they are in water. When they're not in water, the sun sets them on fire. So what's the aim of the game in survival mode? Well, as I stated previously, there's no set rules, but there are a list of achievements you can get, like taking damage while riding a pig. A pig? That's right, you can even saddle up those friendly pigs and horses. You can also enter the nether. What's the nether? The nether is a hell-like dimension filled with fire and lava and dangerous mobs. Pretty scary, eh? But from the nether you can access a nether fortress. This fortress is filled with gold, horse armour, saddles and even sometimes diamonds. But watch out though, as I said, the nether is also filled with a lot of hostile mobs. I'd take some golden apples with you. From the nether, you can also kill wither skeletons. Wither skeletons sometimes drop a wither skull. If you can manage to get three skulls, you can spawn in the wither skeleton and try to defeat it. Careful though, the wither will blow up everything that's around you. So what else? You can also enter the end. What's that? The end of the game? No, silly. The end is a terrifying piece of land in the middle of space inhabited by the ender dragon. You must kill the ender dragon in order to receive the ender egg. So what is creative mode? Well, whatever you want it to be. Creative mode strips away the survival aspects of Minecraft and allows players to easily create and destroy structures and mechanisms. You will have everything you need and want right at your fingertips without having to mine or craft them. From building blocks to all the armour you can get. So what will you build? Your house? A dream house? Or even a whole town? The possibilities are endless. Why not try to make some cool mechanisms using redstone, like these?
fun doesn't stop there. Oh no. Minecraft also has a huge online and multiplayer community where you can play mini battle games on Xbox or PS4. Or head over to the Minecraft PC version to find a huge list of servers where you can play endless games like Hunger Games, Skyblock or Build Battle. There's just so many to choose from. But why stop there? Why not mod your game? Sadly only available on the PC version of my Minecraft. But there are hundreds of different mods you can download and install. My favourite is the furniture mod, where you can craft working washing machines and blenders and sit on awesome looking sofas or close your blinds at night. You can also download other people's creations, their worlds, their maps, you can play adventure maps or survival maps or why not try your hand at some parkour? Check out my other videos on how to download and install mods and maps. So, enjoy your game, make it your own, what adventure will you have?